Alright, welcome to another episode of Apex's How To. Today we're going to be walking you through on installing Metasploit on Windows 10 or Windows 11. You can actually do on both. First thing we're going to have to do is go to the virus and threat protection. We're going to have to temporarily turn off the virus protection settings as well as the firewall. Here we're turning off the virus settings first this is needed to be done before we can install Metasploit and that's it for the firewall I already had mine off so you could just have to turn the private network off now next we can go ahead and go and download the install I've included the link for the install within the notes description area here are the different different ones I've picked 4.20 because it worked for me uh, many times so I haven't really used other ones yet but you could try other ones if you need to should be this exact same step we're gonna have some videos on it I actually downloaded two on accident let's go ahead and delete one and let's go ahead and install this one here should be a pretty simple install kinda straightforward just double click it and that's what will come up and you could actually almost kind of go through the defaults click on next agree to the agreement next here you have to create a directory I went ahead and manually created it because I had an issue before where when I did click next it didn't create the directory which was weird so I'm just gonna create it just to be safe I just named it pretty much Metasploit. Once I do do that, I just went ahead and clicked on to find it here and just double click. Here's just another warning about disabling the virus and the firewall before we do the install. Let's go ahead and click next. I left the port 3790 default. You could change it to whatever you want, but I just left the default. Click next. I left this default also. And go ahead and click next. And then next. This part will take a long time. It took about 10 15 minutes, so I'm fast forwarding it for you guys. But it does take a long time. So just wait for it, and you'll eventually see the finish button come up. So give it about 10 15 minutes and click, click on finish it will open up the web interface for you for Metasploit and as it's opening up you'll be asked to wait a bit it takes about 10 minutes as it, it's installing the background that is the URL as right now there is nothing yet it's still trying to load so it's gonna sit here for a while so let's go ahead and go back real quick <coughs> and right here I'll just leave it here it does take 10 15 minutes I left this for a bit so what I do is kinda right click and open a new tab and on top you'll see it's still loading so you could either click on it or just click away from it once it's done you'll see the loading change to Metasploit setup config I sped it up for you so um, it did take about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes for it to be done so once it's done you'll get this screen where you go ahead and create your user account your admin account for Metasploit let's go ahead and fill this out real quick it used to be free but now it seems like you have to contact support for a trial um, license key so I'll show you in a minute once I create the account here so right here to get the product key it'll send you to a contact me page for Metasploit 
so I did went ahead and filled it out and contacted support to request for a trial key so once I got that I was able to use it and the key is over here I got it from through email So I went ahead and go ahead and activate it here. And that's it. So hopefully that was easy for you. We're going to go ahead and be having a lo lot more how to's on using Metasploit. If this is helpful, please give us a follow and a like. Thanks. Bye.